Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up a checkpoint system in your game in Crater. So if you've already played around with the obstacle course starter template, you will already be aware that you can do checkpointing in Crater and there's a really good example in the obstacle course starter template on how to do that. But if you have a game where you don't currently have the checkpoint system set up and you want to include it, that's a really good opportunity to follow this tutorial and to take a look at how you can do that. So the first thing we need to do to set up a checkpoint system is head over to the community tab and install the auto respawn package from Crater. So make sure the Crater package is checked and then install the auto respawn package. If I go over to the library and take a look, that comes down with this user spawn script folder, which needs to be added to the user template. So if you go to the user template and then click entity, create child script folder, add the user spawn script folder here. You'll see that it comes up as a user spawn and then spawn on login is by default not on and if you if you test the game at this point you'll find that you don't actually spawn at all so you need to make sure that that spawn on login is checked other um but it's a good sign that the user spawn uh script has now taken over the spawning of your characters so they no longer spawn by default uh which is something else you need to manage in your game so the first thing to do is to also go over to the player template and then make sure that you have some kind of respawn script attached to the player that listens out for any death events to do with health or, or indeed the death plane trigger, which is where your player gets to a certain point in the game. Maybe they've fallen off a ledge and they get to a certain point, um, at, at which point you need to call the on player died event within the spawn user script. So essentially send that to all the scripts attached to the user uh, and that will send it to the spawn user script, which is attached in that user script folder, user spawn script folder. Uh, and if we have a look at that on player died, you can see that it then takes care of all the logic to do with respawning the player. So that's the respawning taken care of. However, they will always respawn at that first point. The next thing we need to do then is to set up checkpoints to work in that way. So in your game world, I stop editing that template in your game world, set up some checkpoints however you want to. You can make a visual representation or they could just be hidden or in the background or what if they need to be. But the most important thing is that you have a locator which, uh, which represents where the player will be spawned for that checkpoint. So you can see I've got a locator there and I've got a locator on this checkpoint over here. So if we look at this checkpoint um, locator, you can see it's attached to this uh, teleport pad here. Uh, and I've added a script to that locator there. There's the checkpoint script. And essentially what the checkpoint script does is it saves this as the, the place to respawn when the player dies. And it does this by calling the set spawn event, um, which is a function again in the spawn user script. And all that does is it, it takes a locator as an argument and it saves it in the properties of this spawn user script it saves it there and that means that when it comes to respawn it when you when the player dies for example um, it will use that particular property that you've set uh, and essentially that's it that's all you need to do then to uh, set up checkpoints in your game in crater 